it's very obvious now that if you aspire to be at a top research institute in India, like IIC Bangalore, IITs, or the seven ISERs, then you must appear into ISER Aptitude Test 2026. Now you can be a class 11 student or a 12th or might be a dropper. So in that case, you might have attempted this year 2025 as well, but due to some reasons, you couldn't get a seat or you might be waiting for the counselings to be finished, but things didn't go right. That's why you are here. So don't worry. In this video, we are going to talk about the complete strategy and the roadmap to take you from the stage where you are to your dream research institute next year or in 2027 if you're in class 11. By the way, if you have not already watched the video where I break down the IAT 2025 results, rank inflation and the shocking counseling results, then watch this video. But if you are here, then in the end of this video, we have a huge surprise for all of you who are going to appear in IAT 2026. The prevalent issue with IAT for most of these students is you're either a PCM or a PCB students, of course, like me, and uh, you are confused about how to prepare for maths or biology. So this video is exactly for you because I'm going to tell you all these things and take you from where you are to IIC Bangalore. So stay with me till the end of the video because uh, towards the end you will be getting the surprise and for that check the description. Now as you all know IIT 2025 was conducted in month of May 25th of 2025 this year and uh, similarly IIT 2026 can also be conducted towards the end of May. So we have roughly around eight months to fixate our preparation and fulfill our journey towards Dream Research Institute. But if you're in class 11, this is an advantage for you, my friend, because you have another year to focus and prepare for IAT exam. Let's start with strategy timeline because uh, making strategy and clearing your basics is the first thing in this journey. Phase one, foundation building. So how do you build your foundation? The biggest mistake that 90% of the students make is not clearing the basics and directly skipping to the level of difficulty of the actual examination. So this is what you should definitely not do if you look forward to scoring good marks and uh, finish your NCRTs if you feel that there is not much time. So pick only those topics that carry high weightage uh, for different subjects, physics, chemistry, maths, if you're a PCM or for biology. If you want to know what are the high weightage topics coming up in this slide. Number two is skill development. Once you are done with your basics, what is the next step? Practicing questions and building your expertise. How can you do that? Basically, Pick a very good resource if you have not already done. For example, uh, most of these students, PCM students, how are they practicing biology after NCRT is via mastering biology. So what you do, typically after finishing your NCRT, that particular high weightage chapter, you come to a good resource. It can be whatever you have and uh, you briefly revise the theory from that particular book or a resource, then you switch to exercises. If you have a resource or a book that has both kinds of difficulty levels and previous year questions that really is good, right? So you can practice the PYQs, exercises, you can check your answer keys in the same chapter, in the same resource, and you can do that for the rest of the chapters as well. So uh, that can be a very good strategy. Links for these mastering books are in the description, so you can check. So we are done with the foundation. Now we are moving towards building our skills and expertise by rigorous practicing of questions. That is the key. And uh, that is supposed to be done by the month of January latest. Why am I saying this? Because in January, 12 guys have their board examinations. Uh, all the droppers have some time, but we'll be keeping the last few months for revision and practice in our final strategy tweaking. Practice most of the questions in your weak areas and keep your strengths aligned in a similar direction, right? Practice advanced problems, build your own question banks, right? Whatever mistakes you are making in a mock, note them down and keep visiting them back to back so that you don't do those mistakes again. That is the strategy and the traits that toppers usually have. And a very strong element of intensive practicing is not just theory and question, but mock test. Now to build rigorous expertise and intensive practice, you go beyond theory and question bank, you attempt lots of mocks and that is what is needed. Uh, you need to attempt weekly mocks, analyze them, see your uh, mistakes and eliminate those mistakes. And how can you find good quality mocks? For example, thousands of students are right now attempting the mock tests that are present in the description. You can check them out and uh, get your ranks as well. And by the way, uh, the mocks are completely free in Kalam 2.0 and Kalam 3.0. So check that out if you want. So how can you do all this? So at SciStuff, we have been guiding students for more than four years and uh, helped more than 2,500 students 
get selected in the premier research institutes of the country. So if you're in class 11, 12th or a dropper, definitely go to the description and check out Homi, Vikram or Kalam. And towards the final phase, that will be the time to show your peak performance. Why? Because you have already built your basics, you have practiced hard enough, you have uh, attempted lots of mock tests, and you will be going to display all that in the final examination. And uh, by the way, in the months of March, April and May, there will be crash courses by Syastra that uh, thousands of students join across India and outside. And uh, that will also be completely free with Kalam 2.0 and Kalam 3.0. Uh, and the links, of course, are in the description. Now, let's break each and every phase in detail and see what you have got in there from topics, chapters, timelines, strategies, and resources. So, to start with phase one, which is the foundation building, do not take more than four to five months because uh, we don't have 10 years. We only have eight months, out of which we want to keep four to five months for foundation, two to three months for uh, expert uh, skill building, and the last couple of months for revision, practice, mocks and uh, mistake elimination. So complete NCRTs, master all four subjects to some extent. You know, remember, finish the topics which are high weightage in IAT. And uh, maths and biology focus on understanding concepts rather than memorization, especially if you don't have that subject in class 11th and 12th. And uh, that is very pivotal if you want to get ISER Pune and ISC Bangalore. Uh, you have to have attempted all four subjects. And uh, keep making summary notes and formulae that you can keep going back to whenever needed and in times of revision. So create concise revision materials for quick review. That will be invaluable during the last month, mark my words. And uh, high weighted chapters, I'm repeatedly telling you these are very important to take a note of and prioritize those chapters only because they contribute 60 to 80% of the total exam score. And uh, selection, you know, is ensured by maximizing on the high weighted chapters. So uh, monthly mock tests, I have already briefed you. So these are the things very pivotal. Now come to skill enhancement and skill building, which also includes rigorous practicing of questions in all four subjects. So every single day, I'm giving you a target of 60 to 80 questions in combined all four subjects PCMB. If you are in class 12th. If you are a dropper, of course, that number should be double for you. So if you are in class 12th, this is what you should be doing every single day. And uh, if you do that for the rest of the eight to nine months, I guarantee you, you will be sitting next year in one of the top research institutes of India. And uh, if you are a dropper, same thing for you, but uh, 100 to 120 questions. I know it can seem hard, not, not a piece of cake, but if it was easy, everyone would have done it. Right. Uh, and uh, the most important thing, since you have already six to eight months in your hand, how can you utilize it? Apart from practicing uh, questions, theory, mocks, you need to strengthen your weak areas. Otherwise, you'll be able to get Iser Pune, right? Whatever areas you're weak in, it can be a particular section of a chapter, subject, it can be a huge subject itself. I am a PCM student, I have not studied biology for my past 1.5 years. Now I have six months in my hand, I have to do biology from scratch to a level where I can solve 10 questions out of 15 in IIT 2026. Possible? Yes. How? I'm going to show you. And identify and focus intensively on subjects where you are struggling. Read NCRTs, read books, mastering, any, any book, whatever. Practice questions, then uh, attempt mocks. All while, keep taking notes of your formulae, mistakes, and whatever things you feel you're struggling with. Advanced practice problem comes after that. If you feel you're well-versed with theory, foundation, question marks, then you can switch gears and uh, do advanced question. And next up is phase third where you do intensive practice and uh, that sort of transitions very smoothly from phase two. Uh, briefly keep it as I know most of the people who were struggling six months, eight months, ten months before the examination but they ended up going to places like IC Bangalore, they did exactly like this. And uh, in the months of February and March is where your crash course will also be starting. And that will be a high time to build your expertise, do revision and intensive practice, right? Including previous papers, because how can you 
go to exam without solving PYQs and uh, solve them thoroughly. Each and everything out of this will be taught to you, given, and uh, you will be guided in the crash courses themselves. By the way, if you want to check all the previous equations of IET with answer keys, you can check out the free material section of SciAstra application. And uh, this PDF, this, uh, you know, roadmap will also be given in the free material section of SciAstra app. So go check that out. App link is in the description. Weekly full mocks will be given. Chapter revision will be most focused on during the crash course. So that part you should leave on us. Okay, what you should be doing is the phase one and phase two work that I have, uh, you know, just told you. This we will take care of. And next up, final phase, your exam month or your peak performance month. Of course, crash course will be going on during this month, plus some other thing, mock test series, revision series, couple of other things we also bring out that also we will take care of, but you only need to do revision, okay? Uh, you won't have any time energy effort left for studying anything new that's detrimental do not do that you would rather want to leave one chapter and attempt 10 other chapters which you already know in exam rather than studying everything and doing nothing in the exam so uh, let's let's not do that subject wise mini mocks you will be doing or will be giving in crash courses that's uh, same thing and full mock schedule, of course, will be out at that time. If you're preparing on your own, you can make your own timetable or strategy. But I would highly suggest you to uh, stay in touch of your peers, hundreds and thousands of them, and uh, rub shoulders with each other. And by the way, like I have already mentioned, crash courses in all India test series, again, are absolutely free with Kalam 2.0 and 3.0 batches. These uh, mastering books are also completely free hard copies in Kalam 3.0. So uh, now you already know where to go and check the description and reach out to us if you need that. And uh, I was talking about high weighted chapters in physics, chemistry, mass, bio, we'll, we'll cover everything. Do not worry about that. So in physics, we start with mechanics, thermodynamics, current electricity, optics, and modern physics. As you see, this part is 11th and this part is 12th. Why? Because in the recent trends, 12th covers uh, slightly more than the portion of 11th in IET examination, that is why. And uh, we have sort of left mechanical properties of matter because not the most important plus a bit uh, hectic. But modern physics, optics is um, what you should compuls managerially do. And uh, now coming to chemistry, you have, again, the 12th part is slightly more than the 11th part. This is 12th, this is 12th, 12th, 12th. And some of this is 11th plus 12th right theory application these are some of the very scoring and uh, most frequently asked chapters in iet examination from chemistry now coming to mathematics and biology you have some of algebra calculus is very basic that you should be doing if you are only focusing on you know high scoring topics and uh, very basic limits differentiation integration pnc you can do very frequently asked and very important algebra and vector 3d are comparatively on the easier side and frequently asked in iit examination that is your key to scoring more and more marks pcb students please take notes and uh, now for biology cell structure human physiology plant physiology as you can see not every chapter is here but the most frequently asked plus the most important and of course, uh, something that you can also do in the next six months is here. Now, uh, a very important thing for st different student profiles like PCM who are weak in biology must do biology chapters. This is your key to unlocking admission in either Pune and IC Bangalore. You can do hu human physiology, ecology, biotech, genetics. Dedicate one hour daily to biology if you are a PCM student. Uh, do it at any cost. Reserve a particular time slot to study biology. Consistency is key for memorization heavy topics, right? You haven't had biology in class 11th, you are doing it now, obviously to score good in IIT 2026. So this is something you need to do. If uh, of course you are struggling, you can check out with mastering biology or uh, the Kalam badges. But if you're preparing on your own or from outside, then these topics are what you can focus on. Similarly, for mathematics or uh, PCB students, you can absolutely do quadratic e equations. You can also do set theory and relation. Like uh, I personally advise every single student who is from PCB background and appearing into IIT or NEST, uh, please, please, please do trigonometry, relation function, 
and set theory or quadratic equations. Uh, these are lifesaver topics and at least give you three to four correct questions in uh, the exam itself. Uh, if you have time, you can also do straight lines, probability, differentiation, and at least 40, 50, 60 questions, please, please solve from each of the topics. Okay, uh, it's very important. And again, you have to dedicate at least one hour every single day to practice mathematics. Okay, biology can be a bit easier, obviously, for PCM students, but maths is not uh, that easy for PCB students. So uh, please pay special attention to this. If you are able to do all that, what next? What next? You, uh, you can do one mock per month in this current month and uh, increase the frequency of your mock test. And eventually, at the time of crash courses, you will be doing two to three mock tests every single week. That is the key to scoring good, great ranks in IIT. Okay, so PCM students, please don't skip biology. PCB students, please don't skip mathematics. How to do what chapters, uh, how much time, resources, I have already shared with you uh, briefly in this video. If you want more details, let us know in the comments. Reach out to the support team directly. And uh, revision, you have to definitely do. Mock tests are non-negotiable. That's what lead to success. And if you want this PDF, of course, will be given in the free material section of Syastra application. By the way, if you have reached this part of the video, do uh, you remember I mentioned about a surprise in the starting? And uh, that was for all the students preparing for IAT 2026. You might have been following some part of this strategy and roadmap, but you might be struggling uh, with huge loads of syllabus, chapters, subjects, and it might so happen that uh, you are struggling with backlog. So don't worry, we will be bringing something huge for you in the upcoming week. So please stay tuned for that and check the description for more details. And let me know in the comments if you are excited about that. And till then, uh, keep rocking, keep rolling. See you in the next video. All the best.